We will read verses 6 and 7 of chapter 2. Chapter 2, Colossians, verses 6 and 7. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord. Wait a minute. How did you receive him? Well, you received him when you gave your all. When you gave your all. Well, let me go back to the night I received the Holy Ghost. I was working in a paper mill at that particular time, and we worked three eight-hour shifts. So when you worked your shift, if the man that was to relieve you didn't show up, you just had to work another shift, that's all. So I went to church one night, and I was determined, this is my night to get the Holy Ghost. So I told, there's a revival going on. I told the pastor and the evangelist, I'm not leaving here tonight until God fills me with the Holy Ghost. Now, if you get tired and want to go home, go on. When you come back tomorrow night, I'll still be here. If I haven't got the Holy Ghost, I'll still be here because I'm not going to leave here until God fills me with the Holy Ghost. We had tarried till 4 o'clock. My son cannot tarry tonight. He's got to go to work at 11 o'clock. And if he doesn't go to work, he'll lose his job. This was just on the edge of the Depression. If you lost a job then, you didn't get another job. said, so he's got a family to support, and he can't afford to lose that job. The evangelist came and stopped me and told me what my father said. I said, I told you I'm not leaving here until God fills me with the Holy Ghost. So my father went out. They didn't have any phones in the churches in those days. He went out and got a phone somewhere. He called the night superintendent. Now, I don't know what he told him. He wasn't saved yet. He possibly lied for me. I don't know. But anyway, whatever he told him, the superintendent says, you tell your son he's got to come to work tonight because the day man worked his shift. The 311 man didn't show up. The day man had to work that shift. Now, if your son doesn't come, then he'll have to work that shift. Then the next shift will be his shift. And that's 32 hours, and we can't work a man like that. So my father came back all excited and told the evangelist. He said, no, you just, <laughs> my son's got to go to work. The evangelist came and stopped me again. Told me the situation. I said, tell him to shut the mill down. I'm not leaving here until God fills me with the Holy Ghost. That's what it takes to get the Holy Ghost. That's what it takes when you give your all. When you put aside everything else. And you put your whole soul into it. That's when God gives you the Holy Ghost. All right? So, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, read, so walk ye in Him. That's the way you're supposed to live from this time on. Given your all, put everything you have into it. Just like it took to get the Holy Ghost in the first place, that's what it takes to keep the Holy Ghost. To walk in the Holy Ghost. 